Welcome back guys, on this tutorial we're going to talk about the awesome action called send message and the component that we are going to attach on our AI controller called message receiver. Now pay close attention to this one because it is a awesome feature that we've implemented on this AI template that will allow you to call a particle, a sound effect, create an animation, call a method, pretty much anything you can do using events which is the most amazing thing included on this uh, component. So let's take a look. For this tutorial I'm going to use a Mixamo animation. I've downloaded a ducking, very simple animation, short clip. And I also use the freesound.org find a pretty cool screaming sound and a half briefing sound so let's organize a little bit our project to receive those files uh, let's create a my project and drag and drop our new content here I also want a animations and a sounds let's drag and drop our sounds here and our animation here. Well, let's set up our animation here that we just downloaded. Of course, I want to use the humanoid type for this one. And the avatar definition, since I've uploaded my VBot low polo and download the animation, I can use the same avatar. So, low poly avatar. If you upload your character on Mixamo, use your character source avatar okay let's go into animation and take a look now as you can see he's not correctly positioned in the ground he's kind of floating so I want to bake my position Y this fixes my uh, floating situation here but now my character is moving a lot when he's doing the animation so I want to also to bake my transform rotation let's hit apply and that's pretty cool now that was the starting duck I need three animations here of which I can use uh, this single clip and create uh, the other animations that I needed so this is the starting duck and the next one will be the ducking so let's cut the part where the character is starting is starting to duck and I want only about here let's check the loop time and loop pose and also the bake rotations that we did let's take a look uh, on, this, uh, on this speed it's not looking great but if I slow down a little bit it looks better and now we also need a end duck so the character can go back to the uh, idle or whatever the animation will he will transit to so now I just need the inverse about here let's also bake this animation and in here as you can see it's the starting duck but on the animator I will use the inverse speed so he will be uh, standing up uh, instead of crouching now for this example I want to use the civilian now we're going to modify our animator controller so let's make a copy of the base locomotion and paste inside our little folder here let's create a folder animator it's different for animations drag and drop here and set my project AI scare cool let's assign it to our AI now let's assign our new animations uh, for this case I want to use the base layer I could also use the full body layer uh, because it's a full body animation so let's use a substate machine and call it actions 
in here I want to create my ducking substate machine as well and in here I want to drag and drop my animation clips the start the ducking and the ending duck now what I'm going to do is to trigger the starting duck using the send message when he's going to flee or some other state that we can create so the starting duck will play and then transition to ducking when he will be staying on a indefinitely uh, period of time that we we're going to set up on the FSM and then after the, that period of time we're going to call the end ducking I also need to make a exit from this substate machine when I call the end ducking otherwise he will be stuck here doing the end ducking forever so here we're going to exit this substate and on the actions I also need to exit this one otherwise here he will entry again and start ducking again now remember we created the end ducking animation from the starting duck so let's invert our speed to minus one so he can actually uh, stand up instead of crouching also all of my animations here I need to set up as a custom action so that the controller can um, identify it as a custom action and do not movement or do anything else so custom action for this one and this one as well cool the animator part is done let's go to our FSM and since I'm going to modify my behavior I don't need anymore the look at noise and go to noise position because what I'm going to do is when I shot nearby the AI he will flee for a period of time like 10 seconds and then he will going to uh, start the ducking animation stay there for more uh, for a few more seconds and then go to idle and back to patrol so we don't need that anymore let's del delete these nodes and this one as well and now the transition that we are going to do it's also to flee so in this case if I check if I take any damage or if I heard a noise I'm going to flee and now I can create a new node called scared or ducking same thing and add the action sent message called um, trigger duck animation animation cool let's copy this and paste here in the listener name I'm going to explain the listener name and message shortly now I'm going to make a transition to this care and this care through the idle and um, I'm going to stay unscared for 10 seconds and I'm going to flee for um, 8 seconds on this care I need to use the custom animation of idle the reset current destination and also add the action trigger the animation cool <clears throat> now let's go to the AI controller and add the component AI controller components message receiver so we can receive the message we've just created now when you open the message receiver it says here use this component with the send message action to call a event directly from a state of the FSM behavior that's what we're we're doing here and you can have a list a list of messages like uh, three different um, events that you can also create the actions here 
or if you just want uh, one you can you can use the default listener but in this case we're going to do a few things so one of the one of those things is the trigger duck animation where we will use the on receive message which passes a string uh, message which is this one message let's also add here uh, the trigger duck animation actually this one will be the uh, what what it it's called again start ducking so let me copy here and paste here this is the message we want to pass it for the method we will we were going to call it so pay attention I'm going to drag and drop my controller here and I want to access my animator with the let's find it here play and fix it time and you can see here we have a int or a string and in this case we want to use a string which is the message we are we are passing from the FSM so let's select here play and fix the time string and pass the message which is to play the start ducking animation get it? I'm, I'm sending a message to the listener name that we created here this is the, the listener name it's trigger duck animation and we're calling the event that receives a string to play an animation called start ducking even though the state scare uh, exits after 10 seconds we never reset the ducking animation so he's going to be ducking forever we need to call it the end ducking so let's do that by creating another action the send message action and this one will be end duck animation we're, we're going to create the listener with the same name and the message is end and ducking right let's check and ducking now let's create a new node call it end scared uh, we also need the custom speed of idle and reset good current destination and let's call the end duck animation here create a transition to the idle and the scare will actually go to the end scare but there is actually a problem with our logic that we just created here in the FSM because here we have a any state from any state if I take any damage or I heard any noise I will enter the flee states this means that if I already am on the scare state or the end scare state I heard any shot he will go to the flee state but he is not going to reset the animation because the animator is still doing the scared behavior which is trigger the duck animation so he will be um, here or here on the animator which he which does not have a exit and but my FSM will be calling the flee state so to fix that we need another decision called check state with this check state I can verify for example is in scared state and I can add my uh, decision here is in scared state let's open up and check if the FSM state is equals scared so uh, we want to not enter the flee state if I if I am already on the scare state so if I'm not on the scare state he will enter here and same thing for the other ter transition which is heard and noise and I'm not false not on the scare state cool this will guarantee that 
it will only work if I'm not on scare state. Now I'm going through two different ways to trigger a sound effect for the animation. So one of them is to create here a sound and drag and drop your sound here. Uh, in this case, I want to trigger the screen. I don't want to play on awake. I want to trigger that sound. So let's go here into our message receiver and create another message receiver called trigger screen sound. And in here, I want to use a uh, different component. And actually, I need to uh, drag and drop these sounds this time instead of the VBOT and on the sounds we just have the transform and the audio source so the options we, we have here are more limited to game objects itself transform and audio source and we want to play the sound this is one way to do it of course we still need to create a send messenger so it is called trigger screen sound and in this case we don't have a message because it's simply a audio source dot play it doesn't have a string parameter now let's assign or send message here in the flea action because as soon as I as soon as I apply damage to him or he hear any sound I can I can trigger my screen sound effect so let's take a look <laughs> pretty cool another cool way that you can trigger a sound effect is by going directly on the animation clip uh, and sorry animation states of your animator controller and use our script trigger sound by state and here you can add as many sounds as you you need it it will play randomly so you can select here your animation and stick with just one and a audio source, we already have a prefab in the project, but the ideal is for you to create a copy of the audio source. And check loop here for this specific uh, sound I want to I want to use looping. So my audio source also uh, on the original audio source we have a destroy game object of one second um, but in this case since my since my behavior is to be on this scared state for 10 seconds I need to increase that for 10 seconds and, the, and, and after that he will destroy and now finally before we testing let me just reduce a little bit to 4 seconds on flee and 6 seconds of scare so let's take a look now I'm going to use my weapon to shot at anywhere so he got scared cool he triggers the sound and starts fleeing now he's ducking playing the second sound six uh, seconds of ducking and play the end of ducking animation idle and got back to patrol and I can do everything again with my fully functional uh, FSM. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool feature to have. You can uh, trigger sound effects, uh, animations, particles. You can even call a uh, specific method that you need. For example, go to the FSM controller and stop the FSM. Anyways, the possibilities are endless with these components. I hope you can create something very cool with these features from the AI template.